Hello everyone, it's Kathy the Backyard Stamper and today I just got my pre-order and last chance product order um, from Stampin' Up! So I haven't looked in the box, so we'll go through it together. I'm so excited. Now some of the items in here also belong to some of my customers. Um, who took advantage of the last chance list with me. So if you see duplicates, that's most likely why. All right, so let's see here. Oh, we've got the gingham embossing folder. That was on sale for $3. Framed florets dies. They were on sale for like $14. Okay, so let's see what else we've got in here. I'm gonna separate some of my new products. Look at all the Pearl Basic Jewels. Those are great for prizes at my classes. Let's see here. The Daffodil Dyes, those were last chance. Marigold Moments was another last chance. Let's see here. Beautiful Thistle. I've got a bundle with that. Um, let's see here. Marigold Bowmits, here we go. That's a bundle that was is retiring. Beautiful. Oh, I've been wanting this forever. <laughs> so I finally get it when it's retiring, but I will continue to use that. I have the old brick embossing folder, but it's not a 3D. And the difference is the regular one um, embosses so the mortar kind of pops up. And this one, it's the actual bricks that pop up. So that's exciting. Looking forward to using that. Oh, here it is. Beautiful thistle. That was on the last chance list at a very, very good price. All right, let's see here if I can set some aside until we find the rest. Okay, so Fresh Freesia is um, an in color that uh, is now going to be a core color. So as they were retiring products, they retired all of the in color ribbons from the um, 2021 to 2023 colors. So I picked up some extra Fresh Freesia ribbon because Fresh Freesia will still be a current color. And I also picked up some Pool Party sheer ribbon. Pool Party is a core color, so ribbon is, never goes out of style. This is Old Olive and Sahara Sand. And the Old Olive is still current, but Sahara Sand sadly is going away. I'm sad because I actually use that color quite a bit. But you know me, I continue to use my stash. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> All right, I picked up a couple of stamping blends that were on clearance. So um, these are polished pink and pale papaya. and soft succulent. So I hold in-person classes and these colors here will be great to add to the um, markers that my class members can use. My blends, I mean. Um, and then I have spares of them. Another pack of that old olive ribbon. Oops. Okay, I'm just gonna try to separate some of the new stuff so we can go through it together. And let's see here, if you hear stuff fall off my table, don't be alarmed. And I got this um, seashell 3D embossing. It was under $4 on the um, clearance rack. And I don't have this stamp set, but I do have the whales and some other um, sea creatures with the octopuses and stuff like that. So I can use that with that. And I also have the seaside bay current stamp set so this will be great with that too okay so here's one 
bundle that's brand new. This is the Cheerful Daisies. Look at that, that is great. And the dies are fantastic. So let me just open up the dies really quickly. I don't wanna open up every one of them, but I will show you a couple of the ones I'm really excited about. So sorry, there's crinkling. We've got the, the cheerful daisies and the cheerful daisy dies. Aren't they fantastic? This is a, you know, a solid one and then you've got your outline and your details. So you can mix and match quite a bit with this set. So I'm excited. We'll be using those very soon. Oh, photopolymer too. All right, let's see. I've got a set of the new core colors. So Stampin' Up! just did a color refresh, meaning they retired some of the colors that have um, been around a while and refreshed them with new and um, exciting colors. So the most economical way to purchase the new core colors is as a bundle price you save 10% and it's almost, you get almost a, um, well, I think you do get one ink pad for free that way. So let's see what our new core colors are. Let's see here. Some are returning favorites. Um, and some are brand spanking new. Okay, Pretty Peacock, that's a returning favorite. Berry Burst is a returning favorite. Neither of those um, I hadn't had yet. Blueberry Bushel, like I said earlier in another video, I love this color. Um, love that deep blue, fresh freesia. That was an in color that is now a core color. Misty Moonlight. If you remember the not quite navy cardstock or color from, um, you know, 10 years ago or 15 years ago, this is uh, a close resemblance, not quite the same, but I absolutely loved that color. So this is going to be one of my new favorites. Lemon Lime Twist, that is a returning favorite. Lost Lagoon. This is um, a great color and I didn't have it before when it was an in color, but I must have had some, um, a couple sheets of cardstock because I had this and I just made this card following my friend Kim, the Paper Chef's um, class that she's having on Irresistible Blooms. So that's exciting. And Pecan Pie, which I love close to cocoa and creamy caramel. And this reminds me of both of them. So I'm excited about that. Brand brand new is Azure Afternoon. I like how bright that is. This one is Lemon Lolly, which I'm so happy to see like a, a, a soft yellow. Um, I do like bright yellow too, Daffodil Delight, Pineapple Punch, I loved that one. But the soft yellows actually go with more colors of cardstock. So um, you get a little more bang for your buck. Bubble Bath is brand new, a very pretty soft pink. So those are our new core colors. Very exciting. And as I said, getting them as a bundle is the most economical way to do that. So when you get your new catalog, look for that page and it is a page that has um, the new core colors in it and you'll see the bundle price. If you need a catalog, please let me know. I'll be happy to send one to you. Reasons to Smile, this is a retiring stamp set that um, it, it's fun because it's it's big. Look how big that is. That's your whole card front. 
So um, this is not true to size because these are quite a bit larger. So that's fun. Polished Pinks um, was a, is a retiring in color that I got an extra pad for. These are new ribbons. Oh, you know what? I'll put that aside for just a moment while I get the rest of that collection out. This is uh, pretty, oh, these are gonna be some of the new inkers. Let me just get all. So I've got blends in all the new core colors. So these aren't all of them. They're somewhere in my box, but I did get all 11 uh, new core colors um, in the blends and the cardstock and the ink pads. Okay, so let me see here what I have. This is a new bundle, which I'm excited about because I spend a lot of time on my back porch, my back deck, hence the backyard stamper. And um, we've got a, a pretty good sized deck and you know, we face the woods. So it's pretty, it's quiet. I love it. <laughs> and uh, let me just show you these guys really quickly that go with this one. These are Lazy Days. And it's got the, the baluster, a rug. This here is like um, the awning, which we have rocking chair and then there's a stamp rocking chair as well hanging plants nice sentiments i love it and i am going to um be making my swap cards with this set okay let's see what else we got in here ginkgo the ginkgo branch these were um this was a bundle that was on the last chance list. So that's really nice. One of my customers got that one. Scooped it up for a great price. Now this is a bundle. And let me see if I've got the dies out yet. Okay, I know I, I said I wouldn't open all the dies, but I don't know when I'll get back to doing another new product video. So I just, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna take a second to show you these new dies. So the bundle is called Countryside Corner and it's a whole suite and it comes with these great shape dies that layer and the stamp set that is bundled with it is one stamp, a whole, you know, one, just a single stamp, but these Fit inside to cut out all the parts so you can you know layer up and make frames tags pictures if you want to use this um, stamp set with the, the dies see I don't think you can get the picture of that and um, some people have been suggested you know maybe cutting it apart but I would rather not cut my stamp and just cut the paper. So I'm going to keep my stamp as a one stamp and just use the dies to cut out the different size shapes. So you can keep your frame, you know, as big as this and then use this piece to cut out and you only have this much or you can cut out each skinny piece. Um, you know, really the sky's the limit. And it goes with this country paper so the paper is really gorgeous and um, I love the blues in it so let's just show real quickly it's got the blues in it are balmy blue boho blue which is a new car, uh, new in color Misty Moonlight and Night of Navy. So four different blues and it's stunning. There's a um, embossing folder, which I did not get with this. I, I didn't realize that it embosses to match the design on the paper. Oh, if I had realized that, I would have gotten that as part of my pre-order. But uh, when the catalog goes live, 
that'll be in my cart. So this paper is really pretty, lots of blues, and I think it's going to go really well with that lazy day um, sitting out on the rocker stamp set. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Let me put that one away. Normally I keep my dies in their bundle inside my container. I keep just take them off of, take them out of the plastic um, and just keep them like this. Maybe add a magnet sheet to them. So if you see, that's why I've been taking them out and clipping them in my boxes like that. Zany Zoo is another um, going to be fun, fun, fun design a series paper. There's a whole bundle, a whole sweet collection of this. Um, my, the um, stamps and dies are coming in a second order that I had, but I got the paper for right now. And all of these can be colored, so it's going to be fun. The dies cut out a lot of them. This paper goes with the daisies. And um, it's a different kind of paper. There's two sheets that look like this, and this you would cut out kind of like memories and more cards where if you cut along the line and then cut like this, you get pieces for your card front. So there's always going to be one main line, and then you cut down here and cut these off, and then you cut down here and this way. And so you cut all your pieces. It's, pretty, it's going to be pretty easy and can use them as your focal point on your cards. So that's interesting paper. I can't wait to try it. This is retiring paper, a wash and beauty. I made some really, really nice cards with this paper and I love how bright and colorful it is. This is new designer paper called Bright and Beautiful. It goes with a birthday balloon uh, suite. So that's gonna be fun and colorful. All of my cardstock, for the in colors, I got some single packs and I also got some multicolored packs because I um, just didn't want to break the bank all at one time. <laughs> so I've got this, I've got some pear pizzazz cardstock, that color is retiring, and that is a color I use all the time. I don't know what I'm going to do without it. And these are all new colors. And getting to the bottom here, what is this? Oh, I got a um, small grid paper. So uh, the Stamparatus retired, and so they retired all the um, items that, the accessory items. So I've got a couple packs of the small grid paper before. I, I like it. I use Stamparatus all the time, but it's also nice to have smaller workspace sometimes. And then these are... Um, that's a retiring color mint macaron and this is a oh bubble bath so these are the rest of the in colors except that one don't know oh missy moonlight yep so those are the rest of my ones i got the monkey stamp set which i don't know what happened to the stamps for that i'll have to look to see um there's a new really cute bundle. I, I love animal stamps. And um, so this one is a monkey one. So it does the, the, uh, the face punches out the ears, the color inside of the ears, the shape and the banana. So you can hang them, you can make the, uh, the monkey game there. And then and this one here, I, I love this. So I'm a crafter. My two daughters are crafters. And I've got, this has got a painting easel, a basket that you can put yarn in, painting supplies, um, you can, sewing machine, stamp and cut and emboss machine. Life is better when you're crafting. You better believe it. And it's photopolymer. And the dies are amazing the last one I'll open I promise 
Okay, so you have a die to cut out all of the shapes. You've got um, the sewing machine, yeah, the sewing machine, the easel, the paint brushes, the basket, some spools for thread. This will cut out our stamp and cut emboss machine. See, you've got a um, embroidery hoop and some flowers that you can put inside the embroidery hoop, a ruler, and another different basket than what's pictured, some scissors, and a paper trimmer. The sample in the catalog is hysterical because it is the paper trimmer, and then this little piece right here, they have on top here, and they have the cardstock going through like a little mini piece, and it and it tucks underneath, so it threads through just like a paper trimmer. It's, it's fantastic. I love it so much. So I'll be using this quite a bit. I have many crafters in my life, so um, can't wait to use that one. And that is it. Let me just show you the cover of the annual catalog. If anybody needs a catalog, please reach out to me. I'll be happy to send it to you. Um, here's my contact information. This catalog will go live on May 2nd. And there are still lots of things in the last chance um, products and clearance rack and the January to April mini catalog is still going on. So lots to choose from. And like I said, if you would like a catalog, please let me know and I'll be happy to send one to you. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.